Sleepless in Seattle. Quick description, uh, a recently widowed man's son calls into a radio talk show in an attempt to find his father a partner. Starring Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan, Rosie O'Donnell, uh, Bill Pullman, uh, the kid is Ross Mellinger, directed by Nora Ephron, uh, screenplay written by her as well, along with Jeff Arch. And the movie is from 1993. So as you know, the title suggests, like <laughs> you one could argue, why is this movie not on, you know, the Seattle list, if you will. Uh, but for those who've seen the movie, and I think this is maybe a little bit in spoiler territory in that sense that the culmination of the movie is all about getting to Empire State Building and the Empire State Building in a way sort of becoming this metaphor of just love uh, of these two people who have been living on opposite sides of the, of the country. They should have never met. And through this fluke of this radio talk show, uh, Meg Ryan ends up sort of following up on who Tam, Tom Hanks and his son are and you know, makes this trek to seek them out. Um, and they ultimately meet and the movie ends on sort of this hopeful note. Like we don't know if they're gonna to be together or not, but we do know that it's a beginning of something. Uh, and it's all, the payoff is so huge because it's all on, on this backdrop of Tom Hanks losing his wife and this father-son amazing relationship um, and how they are okay and love each other and take care of each other. But clearly something is missing because Tom Hanks and, and loved his wife a lot. He obviously loved the kid, loved his mother a lot. Um, so that's what it's about. But I think for me, what it captures in terms of my love for New York is that it captures that hopeful, magical spirit of New York. Uh, in many ways, and Nora Ephron has said this before, who I love as a screenwriter and such, that this movie is really about falling in love in the movies. It's not really real life. There's so many nods in this movie about, you know, to, uh, gosh, what is the Cary Grant, Deborah Kerr movie? A fair to remember. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and because that's sort of what happens with that movie as well. Mm -hmm. So in some ways, it's sort of a meta movie about love in New York, love in the movies. And it's even though we've been talking for the last 20 minutes that New York has this sort of hectic, manic, darker side to it. But at the same time, it has this magical love quality, which yes, exists in person when you're there, but it's definitely something that the movies have really underlined on, you know, all the way back from the Christmas movies, like, you know, Miracle on 34th Street or what have you. So I really wanted to have this as my number one, because ultimately when I visited New York and even when I lived there, the, the overriding feeling that captures me and wants me coming back for more is that feeling of magic, you know? Uh, and, and that magic could be on the streets, at a great restaurant, meeting somebody interesting and exciting, or just walking by yourself and soaking in the city. There's just inherent magic. Uh, and I think this movie celebrates that. No, yeah, that's, uh, I'm surprised. Um, but just, yeah, I. I don't associate this movie with New York, but it definitely is. I mean, now, now that you say this in this context, oh, for, I mean, so I've seen the movie. I should say that first, and I do really like it. Um, so I, yeah, in this context, actually, I could definitely see how this captures that romance of New York and the magic of of what that that city can be in a way that you know we were just touching on Manhattan and how that was romantic, a romanticized view of the city. Um, but I think this film is even more authentic, I guess, to that. It's, it's not as, there's some sort of inauthenticity, I guess, as, I guess, of Manhattan's like romanticism. At least that's kind of what I would associate it with it with, versus Sleep in Seattle. I, I do feel is, yeah, it's a romanticized and magic version, but it's like the real magic as opposed to some other, at least that's kind of what I feel yeah, when I, I think I of totally this film and how it hits New York. And I think it's, to me, that's because of the fact that 
ultimately the movie is rooted in this father son relationship mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know and i think that's what grounds it hey there it's alex if you like the review and discussion kron and i just had make sure you subscribe to our channel movies that shaped us to get full episodes Every other Wednesday, Karan and I cover a topic around important people, places, events, and moments in our lives, and then explore it through three of our favorite movies. Subscribe right now or follow our podcast on Spotify or Apple Podcasts via the link in the description below. Hope you join us for the journey.